Solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Before we proceed with this method, you have to know the square of a binomial and the perfect squared trinomial and their relationship to each other. Because in completing the square, we have to make the quadratic equation given as perfect square trinomial. So this perfect square trinomial can be obtained from the square of a binomial. For example, let us use x plus y squared. So this is a square of a binomial. When you solve for this, the result will be the perfect square trinomial. Let's try to solve for this using FOIL method. You can actually solve for this using the special product, but just to show you the process, let's use FOIL method. So this x plus y squared is the same with x plus y times x plus y. For FOIL method, let us multiply first this two, the first terms. x times x, that is x squared. Then outer term, so x times y. x times y, that is xy. Inner term, so we have y times x. y times x is xy also. And the last term. So last term is y and another y. So y times y is y squared. And when you simplify, it will be x squared, then combine like terms. xy plus xy, that will be positive 2xy. Then copy positive y squared. So this answer is the perfect square trinomial. So x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So when we solve for this square of a binomial, ito yung naging resulta. At siya ay perfect square trinomial. Now, pag ni-reverse natin, from perfect square trinomial, how can we obtain the square of binomial? We can just do that by getting the square root of first and last term. So square root of x squared, that's x. Square root of last term, that's y. And that's what we're going to do later on. We will write first the equation into perfect square trinomial, then after that, make it a square of binomial by squaring the first and last term. Let us try this first example. We have here x squared plus 10x minus 11. Just remember that if it's already arranged in standard form, first term is always the a, second term is b, and third term is c. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to separate the constant or the c. So we will transpose c on the other side. So it will become x squared plus 10x then equals c. So since we are transposing negative 11 to the other side, it means we need to change the sign. It will become positive 11. Now, why did I provide a space here? Because we will be adding something here to make this quadratic equation a perfect square trinomial because that's our goal so that we can complete the square. So x squared plus 10x, we will be adding something. And then if we will add something here, we need to add that also on the other side so that we, they can still be equal. And to do that, we will be using this formula, b over 2 square. b over 2 square. So we will just solve for b over 2 square and then that's what we're going to add on the left and the right side. So let's solve. What is our b? Our b is positive 10, so it will be 10 over 2 square. So 10 over 2 or 10 divided by 2 will give us 5 and then square. 5 square means 5 times 5 and it will give us 25. It means we will be adding 25 on both sides plus 25. Remember that you have to add 25 on both sides so that the value of the equation will not change. So after doing that, after adding b over 2 square on both sides, this trinomial is already a perfect square trinomial. It means we can write this into square of a binomial. And to do that, I told you that you may just get the square root of the first and the last term. So square root of first term, square root of x squared, that is x, and square root of 25, that is 5. Now, where will we get the sign? We will get the sign from the second term. So our second term is positive, therefore this will also be positive. Since we are talking about square of a binomial, it must be enclosed with parentheses and with an exponent of 2. 
Again, how will we obtain this square of a binomial? Just get the square root of the first term, that's x. Square root of the last term, that's 5. And get the sine of the middle term, that's positive, and square it. And on the other side, we have 11 plus 25. That will give us 36. Now, since we have converted already this trinomial into a square of a binomial, to solve for the roots, you have to extract the square root. If you do not know how to extract the square root, you may click this link above. Okay? And to do that, you just need to get the square root of both sides. Square root and square root. Okay. In getting the square root of any number raised to 2, you may just cancel the radical and the exponent 2. So it will be cancel, cancel. Now we only have x plus 5 on this side equals square root of 36. So square root of 36, that is from 6 times 6. It means your answer is 6, but not only positive 6, but it must be positive and negative 6, since negative 6 times negative 6 is also equal to 36. Then after that, since we're solving for x, we need to transpose positive 5 on the other side. So it will be x equals positive 5 will become negative 5 on this side, then copy positive and negative 6. Since we have positive and negative 6 here, to solve for x, we need to separate them. On this side, let us use the positive 1. So x equals negative 5, then positive 6. Okay, again, we are just separating these two signs. Then on this side, x is equal to negative 5, negative 6. We separate positive and negative 6, positive 6 here, and negative 6 on this side. Then solve. So x is equal to negative 5 plus 6. That will give you positive 1. And here, negative 5 minus 6. That will give you negative 11. So your answers are 1 and negative 11. Let us try that in this example. So we have your 2x squared minus 4x minus 10. But as you can see, we can actually simplify this equation. So before you apply completing the square, simplify this first so that the value of our quadratic equation will be a little lower compared to this. So each term here actually can be divided by 2. So let us divide all of them by 2. Divide by 2. So 2x squared divided by 2, that is x squared. Negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2x and negative 10 divided by 2, that's negative 5, equals 0. Okay, to extract the square root, again, you have to separate first the constant, which is negative 5, transpose it to the other side. So we only have x squared minus 2x, put a space, equals negative 5, when you transpose, will become positive 5. So for the space here, we have to make it a perfect square trinomial by doing b over 2 squared. So that's solve for b over 2. Again, b in our equation is the second term. Dito na tayo titingin sa na divide na natin or na simplify. So our second term is negative 2. Let's use negative 2 over 2 squared. So negative 2 over 2, that will be negative 1 squared. And negative 1 squared is the same with negative 1 times negative 1, and it will give you a positive 1. So it means we have to add positive 1 on both sides. Tandaan, ha? You have to add on both sides. Then, since it's already a perfect square trinomial, we may write it in a square of a binomial by getting the square root of the first and last term. Square root of x squared, that's x. Square root of 1, that's 1. And the sign will come from the second term. Second term is negative, so this will also be negative. Then add 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 will give us 6. After that, since it's already in a square of a binomial, we may now extract the square root by writing radical on both sides. Radical, radical. Okay, so let's solve. In getting the square root of a number with an exponent of 2, you may just cancel. Cancel out the radical and the exponent 2. So we only have x minus 1 on this side. And square root of 6, since this is not a perfect square, we may just write positive and negative square root of 6. And since we are solving for x, we need to transpose negative 1 to the other side. And when you transpose, we can have x here, 
then negative 1 will become positive on this side. So we'll have positive 1 and copy plus and minus square root of 6. Then since we have different sign, we may write it separately. So it will be x is equal to 1 plus square root of 6. And the other one is x is equal to 1 minus square root of 6. So those are the two values of x.